<laughs> we were going to uh, inflate that with helium and let it go. There was a little bit of concern, though, for if it drifted over Metro's. Metro Airport. <laughs> and 747 went down. With Which makes me think, will you sign mine before I leave? <laughs> be no. an honor. Be an honor. <laughs> no. You shouldn't get a signature in there with mine's already on there. <laughs> oh, yes. I didn't leave, leave a lot of space. <laughs> you, can do it, you can do it in lipstick, man, you know. I'll be back, but it's cool. <sighs> cool, cool to be here. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it's, just, it's a shame to leave these callers, I have to admit. Yeah, it really is. And <laughs> all these emails. Cool. God, we got so many emails. And you feel like you want to write every single one of them back, but it's, it's impossible. But they're all lengthy emails. They go on and on. And they all tell the stories of growing up, as you say, you worded it perfectly, growing old and uh, with about us the growing, and, old uh, part? growing up and uh, yeah. growing, growing older, going through life. Well, you sit in a room, so you don't even know. I mean, you're portable with people. You have, people are on vacation with you. People creating children with you. You know what I mean? Just well, people, all of it. People it's, talked uh, about that uh, they listen to the show to get through things, you know, they're in the hospital, surgery, as a distraction, as a little helper, as part of their their daily life. And uh, and it's uh, in that respect, it's quite sad and very upsetting to so many. Well, it's but also, the, the letters you guys are, are so smart. Hard. You're also smart. You know, you're like, the, the world's a mess. It's weird. It's hard to figure it out. But you, you cut through the crap and, you know, you say what is. Well, oh, joke. Boy. Um, a joke. We're all in it. It's only yes, underfunded. Yes, right. And no one who's doing anything about it. I mean, we've been talking about pension funds for I don't know how long now, and no one's making any effort to do anything about it. I didn't know anyone got a pension anymore. That's the <laughs> yeah, thing that amazes that, me that the too. most. Yeah. That, exactly. Yeah. Pension. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard just, of a pension? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like when I was working at Detroit News, uh, the four hundred one k, you got a zero match. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That was definitely uh, that was a weekend. Yeah. 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 Waking up and, and wondering where where was I? <laughs> well, we all know radio is a very volatile place, uh, and it finally uh, caught me for the first time. Never been fired before. 22 years has been great to me. The radio industry has been great to me. I've had a great long run. And it's not over yet. And I uh, look forward to the next frequency. And uh, in the interim, I'll never forget it. Radio gave me some of the best experiences in life I could ever imagine. From movie stars and directors to musicians. Uh, watching at close range guys come in with their guitars and jam and play. All these great bands. And and, and, and not to mention the listeners, which, 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 which is... The most wonderful thing anyone can ever experience in radio is meeting their listeners, and it's great. The uh, the bachelor party. Oh. Mike Clark's bachelor party. Oh. Trish has only left Mike for, I think, three total days in their many years of marriage. Yeah, you're right. That's true. So yeah. it became a bachelor party. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did you pay a price? Yeah. Boy, did I ever. Was I ever blind drunk? As Drew takes a big old gulp of Jaeger right out of the bottle. You know what hey, where's part that coming from? <laughs> yeah, I was so annihilated at that thing. Mike, uh, I, you know what was part of that? You know what was part of that weekend? What? I think the day before Drew was AV six was part of Drew's or uh, Mike's. Uh, oh yeah, party you're right. You're right. Hey, Mike, it's uh, Mike Clark. Uh, I'm on a cell phone. Can you believe this, man? I'm over on the east side. I'm bowling just myself. <laughs> well, you're winning or losing money, but I was a rag doll. I was so drunk. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> And then later that weekend, I went to Saga Talk, which is where Trish was, no. with oh, my never mind. with my parents That's where and Trish stuff. Was. I oh. actually managed to drive there in the middle of the night. Oh, it's all a blur. Wow. Ooh. Well, that was some kind of bachelor party. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that was, was great. It was fun to be there. And you're right; the middle part had to be left off. Where I played movie director. Yeah, you did. I didn't know you had it in you. Uh, but, yeah, I, uh, yeah, did a great job, direct. Huh? Uh, go in detail about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, uh, what did they say? It was maybe NC-17. Yeah. NC-28. Yeah. Yeah. I directed the action, all right. <laughs> well, how about some traffic at, uh, just in front of 10 o'clock, WRIF. It's Friday. <laughs> this is it, baby. Uh, got about, I don't know, an hour. Although, yeah. could be longer. Oh. Never know. Uh, traffic's brought to you by... Dr. Roche and the staff thanking us for all the years of the best morning show entertainment. Thank you, Dr. Greg Roche, Bonnie, and company. Lots of laughs, most of all great friends. And they bring you traffic with Mr. Stress. Um, if he only was there. Hey, move your ass! No deep traffic jam. <laughs> think before they get me out of this one. Hey, Stress, what's going on? Well, we end it all uh, with just that silly Rouge River drawbridge closing. 
Jefferson North and Saba between Coolidge and Dearborn. That's shut down for that. The rest is all construction and uh, no accidents, no disabled. People are driving uh, perfectly, listening to the uh, end of the show. And yeah, I just want to say I'm ready to cry a little bit uh, with it all being over today at the end of a Friday. And I just want to thank everyone for loving my traffic reports over the years. I get so much to say about how good I am. And I've never thanked everybody for all the praise of my reports. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll be uh, on JR doing traffic reports. Wow. Yeah, it could happen. It could happen. Monkeys could fly out of my butt, too. Leave Mike. You never know. Hmm. Yeah, well, no. you, have to, you have to drag Mike over there with you. You guys are contractually linked, so. Yeah, I think it's JR. time to separate Michael Flynn on JR. Hmm. I think I'm on my own. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't, wanna, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I, all right. Well, I was going to call and bitch about passwords. and uh, No, don't go there. I just want to tell you I'm tired of passwords. I'm tired of passwords. I'm tired of remembering passwords. I'm tired of being locked out of everything on the Internet. And I had a big bit planned, but I left it at home, and so... Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> I had a plan. I didn't have it written. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a plan. All right, you bastard. Okay. Good luck, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks, Tress. That's the hell of traffic. Okay. We begin with the passing of a legend of local radio. Mike Clark has died at the age of 63. He's best known for the Drew and Mike show, which dominated morning radio on 101.1 The Riff for years. We're told that Clark passed away in his sleep, the exact cause of death unknown right now. He often spoke about his passion for flying, even owning and piloting his own plane. We spoke to his longtime radio partner, Drew Lane, about Mike's sudden death. He's hard to explain. I, I just think really he was, uh, he's very much every man. He had a long marriage. He loved his wife. He loved his dog. He loved his rock and roll. And he, he wore it on his sleeve. He was very passionate. The last couple years, uh, especially, we've been texting a lot. And honestly, I get a lot of laughs just from the, the back and forth. He's really sharp as ever. And I was really surprised. We'll have much more on the life and career of Mike Clark coming up on Fox 2 News at 6. Fox 2 News at 6 starts now. Sad news tonight involving the death of a local radio legend. Mike Clark has died. For years, he and his friend Drew Lane dominated morning radio with the Drew and Mike Show. And tonight, friends, family, and fans are mourning the loss and celebrating his life. Fox 2's ML Elric has more. Few radio icons have had a stranger career path than Mike Clark. He drove an ambulance, worked for a computing firm, and the gas company. He didn't know any rules, and he didn't follow any. Clark's longtime partner, Drew Lane, says Clark got his start calling into a morning radio show on WRIF and doing the traffic as a character he created called Mr. Stress. Clark would call in from his day job at the gas company and end his updates as Mr. Stress by slamming down the phone. His gas company colleagues weren't amused. He was breaking phones, so he was going to different cubes, and people were going, what's happening on the phones here? Clark and his raw talent eventually joined Lane as his full-time partner for more than 20 years on the top-rated Drew and Mike show. He had no experience. He had no desire to learn. He just had the microphone, and that was really all he needed. Clark was known for his strong opinions and interests, some of which might best be described as fetishes that we can't go into on a family station. But he pushed the, let's say, envelope with characters like Butt Mike. When you start having success, you sort of feel like, well, we can get away with this, or, you know, what are they going to do, fire us? And so, uh, yeah, Mike started farting on the microphone, and and, and, and honestly, I was like, oh, boy, really? But, you know, people laughed, and he was always about to laugh. While he could be strident and unreserved on the air, Lane says Clark was a very private person. He's hard to explain. I, I just think, really, he was, uh, he's very much every man. He had a long marriage. He loved his wife. He loved his dog. 
He loved his rock and roll. True to form, Clark said his favorite interview of all time was with Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger was fantastic. We had 12 minutes with him. And just to, just to hear his voice, you know, just to hear him say, I'm Ike, you know, it was like so cool. Clark frequently spoke on the air about his passion for flying, be it the plane he owned and kept in Oakland County or the remote control helicopters he kept promising to bring into the studio. A running gag on the show revolved around when, if ever, Clark would get his seaplane pilot rating. He was a pilot and uh, he was very proud of that. And he, he had a plane and that was, I think that would have been the last thing to go. He would have been homeless with a plane. He would have been plane poor. Lane is still trying to grasp that his old friend is gone. But he says he knows this much, Clark would love the fuss people are making over him. I just think he would love all this attention. That's really all I've seen about today. He would, he would love it. And so, since we can, we've tapped into our archives to give Clark the last word. What I want to say to people in Detroit is thank you very much for your loyalty, your love, and your support. Rest in peace, Mike Clark. For Fox 2 News, I'm M.L. Elric. I actually want to thank you for all the laughs and all the fun all these years. May God bless you and your family. Sad news in the broadcasting world today. Detroit radio legend Mike Clark of the Drew and Mike Show has died. This was the announcement made today on his Facebook page. It says in part, it is with great sadness that we announce that Mike Clark passed away during the night. He is now flying high like he always wanted. Uh, the Drew and Mike Show left uh, RIF, WRIF, in 2013 after more than 20 years on the air. They then uh, went on to a podcast. After the show ended, Clark still enjoyed being in touch with fans on social media. Mike Clark was just 63 years old. Ahead at 6, we're going to hear from uh, the man who knew Mike much better than most anyone, his longtime co-host, Drew Lane. That's at 6. Yeah. All right, Paula. And one half of a legendary Detroit morning radio duo is gone. Tonight, those who worked alongside Mike Clark are paying tribute to his life and all the laughter that he brought. Glad you're with us tonight at 6. He was an unlikely media star, I think you'd say. Former coroner's wagon driver and the Mishcon utility employee. Mike Clark died last night in his sleep. His passing was unexpected as he was just 63 years old. And today, his longtime radio colleagues who continue to do the Drew and Mike show forged on without him, they took time to speak with uh, Rod Maloney. Rod, tough day for a lot of people. Yeah, you know, it, it, but these are the people who spend a lot of time laughing at life, and so they're they're spending more time on that than they are on the sad part of this. But that doesn't mean they're not sad. Well, this is these are the steps of the house where they do the Drew and Mike podcast, and they just did one here. They were on the air for a couple of hours, or at least on the internet, and uh, we talked to them just as they were getting ready to go and do their show about what they're going to miss about Mike Clark. Who in their right mind? But yes, a two-point conversion. All. Oh. My God. The Drew and Mike Show, which will always keep that name, by the way, opened with the gravelly-voiced Spartan fan, Mike Clark, and his take on the Michigan-Michigan State football rivalry, certainly fitting this week. Drew Lane reacted to Clark's passing. Uh, you know, everybody's numb. It was... Uh, just so sad. Lane admits Clark was quirky and yet had a great sense of humor about it and most recently was trying to get healthy. Mike's had health issues the last couple of years, pretty serious. His vocal cords were frozen. He had problems with breathing because of that. Um, but it seemed like everything was coming together and he was going to doctors, which he was very against. Trudy Daniels sat next to Clark for a generation and she too is sad today, but working with Mike's memory at the fore. It was, I was a great show because of Mike Clark and all of the elements involved and and I'm eating a Dove bar in memorial to Mike because he loved Dove bars and grape juice. Mike, are you are you ready? I'm not ready, Drew, but here we go. Here's the big <laughs> double thumbs Drew up. says Mike yeah. would have loved all the attention he's getting tonight and yes, Detroit is poor because of his passing. Yeah, I will absolutely miss him. I mean, he's very, very private and very much a hermit, but um, we always stayed in contact and it was always all about fun and all about laughs. 
Well, Lane pointed out that Clark uh, was uh, the kind of guy who started late in this business. He was 37 years old after working all kinds of other jobs. He was doing uh, characters on the phone, and that's how they were attracted to him. And before he knew it, he was actually working on the show. They have one story that they like to tell, the number one favorite story. And apparently, uh, he had fallen asleep in a salad three times. Not once, but three times. And so they played that today. And I checked the WRAF website, and they have it up there, too, as well for all of his listeners if they want to go back and relive that moment. So back to you. Salads too, so not all uh, Dove bars and uh, grape juice. But uh, Drew and, and Trudy, I guess Rod knew better than uh, just about anyone about what made Mike so unique on the air. Well, yeah, that's what they said. He was this unique character uh, in all the world. They said that he loved his wife of 40 years. He loved his dog, his parents, his sister, and uh, and grape juice, Dove Bars, and Jimi Hendrix was on uh, that yeah. list. Ah, well. yeah, of course. All right. Good stuff, Rod. When Drew Lane got the call that his radio partner and longtime friend had died, he almost couldn't believe it. It's just starting to hit me now, really. They had spoken only hours before Mike Clark passed away overnight. I just know he died in his sleep, which uh, he many times said was how he wanted to die. So <laughs> I know it's really weird that I know that, but he, uh, Mike wasn't shy about sharing his passions and his feelings on virtually anything. The last conversation they had was about baseball and John Lennon songs. The two have worked together for more than 20 years. Drew says listeners may not have known this, but Mike was a very sensitive and charitable person who enjoyed flying and adored his fans, but most importantly, loved his family. Really happy with his wife and they spent, I mean, they were hardly ever apart and so that part's really sad. The Drew and Mike show was on the riff until 2013. Three years later, they started a podcast. Mike appeared less frequently while battling health issues. Drew is still processing the grief, but says there is one thing he will never forget about his dear friend. What I miss about Mike, it would be his laugh. I mean, he was just had an incredibly infectious laugh. And Drew plans on hosting a podcast tonight solely dedicated to Mike. In Ferndale, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News. And right now on our website, WXYZ.com, you'll find a photo gallery of Drew and Mike's last morning on WRIF. And while you're there, be sure to leave your condolences. Well, tonight, fans are mourning the sudden death of Detroit radio legend Mike Clark. He once ruled the yeah. airwaves as part of the Drew and Mike show on WRIF. We're told Mike had been battling health issues for years. But his death at the age of 63 still comes as a shock. Fans shared some of their fond memories with 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson. For more than a decade, Drew and Mike dominated the airwaves at the Riff. Mike Clark signed off when their final radio show aired in 2013. I just want to thank everyone for loving my traffic reports over the years. I get so much about <laughs> how good I am. Then Drew and Mike turned the popular show into a podcast. Well, I thought he was incredibly inappropriate and uh, always made me laugh and uh, see things from another uh, perspective. Now, longtime listeners are shocked it has all come to an end after learning Mike Clark died in his sleep overnight. I think it's terrible. Uh, Mike was a uh, big part of my morning drive. I wish his family and him um, many prayers and uh, lots of love from Detroit. Really sad. The, the show was a great show. I loved listening to those guys. Entertaining and knowledgeable and it's a really it's sad that he passed yeah. away, isn't it, Dill? Yeah. Too young to go. Based on one of his final interviews, they're all comments Mike would have loved to hear. The most wonderful thing anyone can ever experience in radio is meeting their listeners, and it's great. Drew Lane says he'll be recording a very special podcast in honor of his longtime friend and partner tonight. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. He definitely will be missed for sure.